everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite versions of cheesecake. So it is Basque cheesecake. I absolutely love it. It's super creamy and super delicious, but I'm gonna show you guys a keto-friendly, low-carb, sugar-free version of Basque cheesecake and we can jump right in. So first thing we're gonna do is you need a bunch of cream cheese. No need to take notes. All of my ingredients, all of my measurements are in the description below, so make sure to head down there when you're making this. First thing we're gonna do is throw our cream cheese into this bowl. I have about five boxes of cream cheese. This is 40 ounces of cream cheese in total. Now that I have my cream cheese in my bowl, I'm gonna put it into my standing mixer. All right, close it, and then let's whip this so it's completely combined and creamy. All right. All right, that's good. I'm just gonna scrape the sides now. Now into my bowl of cream cheese, I'm gonna throw in some, uh, this is freshly grated manchego. And you can use whatever age of manchego you want. I'm using a mild version, so it is three months. It's also a little bit less expensive than getting a, you know, a really aged one, but completely based on preference. Now I'm gonna add my monk fruit sweetener. So typically you would use obviously a regular sugar for this but I'm gonna be using a monk fruit sweetener alternative because we're keeping this sugar-free, low carb, and keto friendly. Next, I'm gonna add some sea salt. And now let's mix this on low speed for two minutes. Let's pause for a moment and scrape the sides down. My cream cheese, sugar, salt, that's all combined. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding our eggs. So I have five whole eggs and I need two egg yolks. So I'm just going to get my two egg yolks right now. Just gonna set them aside this bowl right here. You can set your egg whites aside, you can cook them later, make sure to not throw them out. They are perfectly good. And into my bowl with the two egg yolks, I'm now gonna crack the remainder of my eggs, so five whole eggs. And while you're working on all of this, make sure to start preheating your oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. To my standing mixer that already has the cream cheese mixture, I'm gonna slowly start adding the eggs. So you can set this down. We can add a couple eggs at a time. And slowly combine this just until everything is mixed together. You wanna be careful with this. Don't go too fast. Don't dump all the eggs in. Let each of them either individually or two at a time, let them slowly combine into all of the cheesecake mixture. And you wanna make sure, like I said, do this on a low speed. Don't go too fast. Otherwise it'll splatter, it'll make such a mess. Take your time with this, be careful. Let it all combine carefully, okay? I'm gonna pause for a moment and scrape the sides down so that all of the mixture can fully combine. Let's take that off. Scrape down the sides of my bowl. All right, that is fully combined. Just going to scrape everything down again to make sure that it completely mixes anytime we add any ingredients. The next thing I'm going to add is some heavy cream. And typically you would add regular all-purpose flour for a Basque cheesecake. 
but I don't eat all purpose flour. Of course you can. It's only one tablespoon, so it's a very, very minimal amount of carbs. You'll, you're welcome to continue to use that. But instead, I'm gonna use coconut flour because it has a similar texture to all purpose flour and it'll do exactly what you need it to do for the purposes of this cheesecake. So throwing that right in there and let's combine this all together on low speed for about two minutes. All right, our cheesecake mixture is completely well combined. What I'm gonna do next is I am going to get my springform pan and we are going to pour this mixture into the springform. When your cheesecake mixture is done, it's gonna look nice and liquidy like this. That's exactly the texture that you want. And now I have a, uh, it's about like an eight or nine inch springform pan here in front of me. I'm gonna put it on top of a tray and we're gonna spray the, uh, the springform first. So I'm just spraying it with some avocado oil spray. And I'm gonna take now a piece of parchment paper. And we are going to line our spring form. The reason you want to spray it first is because the parchment paper the parchment paper will just stick better to the spring form itself. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's okay that it's wrinkly. That's kind of the point of a Basque cheesecake is it's sort of like a like a rough cheesecake. And so my parchment paper is perfect. Now let's take our cheesecake mixture and carefully pour it into our spring form. Let me scrape down the sides and get all of this into the spring form pan that we have here. And you just wanna take this and kind of hit it to make sure that it's all even. Perfect. My oven is now preheated. We're gonna throw this into the oven for 30 to 40 minutes until it is nice and golden brown on top. Now. It's going to be jiggly in the middle. You want that. You want it to kind of be a little bit more firm on the outside, but jiggly still in the middle because this is a really, really creamy cheesecake. It's not going to be completely set, but it will be golden brown on top. So 30 to 40 minutes, and I will see you guys at the very end. This is our beautiful, keto-friendly, low-carb, sugar-free Basque cheesecake. It baked for a total of 35 minutes for me. Again, it might differ depending on your oven. So it could bake from 30 to 40 minutes. Just make sure that you're watching it carefully. When it's done, it has this beautiful golden brown color and it's supposed to be jiggly in the middle. Remember, just trust the process. After I took it out, I let it rest until it was warm to the touch and I could pick it up with my hands. And I've set it already. This is after setting it in the refrigerator. Throw it into th the fridge for at least like two to three hours. I would say at minimum three hours, but even better overnight. This was sitting in there for three, three and a half hours and it is perfect. It is completely set and I'm ready to take it out. So you just wanna carefully open up the spring form and we're gonna take off the outer part. And this cheesecake is perfect. It is absolutely beautiful, golden brown on the top, and it's gonna be super, super creamy in the middle. I just wanna take a nice slice right out of this cake, just to show you guys how beautiful and perfect this low carb, sugar free, keto friendly Basque cheesecake is. Let's take a slice out of here. 
I can already feel by texture that it is absolutely perfect. What we want is a nice creamy center. And let's take a piece out right here. That is perfect. You see it's super creamy in the middle, nice and golden brown and cooked on the outer part. Take a look at this. Let's take a bite. Now, because we used a monk fruit sweetener and we didn't use an almond flour, I mean, we didn't use a regular flour, we used coconut flour, the texture will be a little bit different than a classic Basque cheesecake. So if you're fine with using all-purpose flour, go for it. But this is perfect for a keto-friendly, sugar-free version of this Basque cheesecake. Let's take a nice bite right here. Super creamy, super delicious. Cheers, guys. Mm. That is crazy good. I mean, so light, so fluffy. I also used a little bit less monk fruit than you would, you know, in a ratio to how much normal sugar you would. It's a little bit sweeter than regular sugar. And this is just the perfect texture, a perfect summer dessert. So light, so delicious. You could put a delicious chocolate sauce on this or fruits. Ugh, it's just so good. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also comment down below, what dessert do you wanna see me make next? What keto friendly dessert are you craving that you haven't seen out there yet? Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to never miss a tasty upload. Till next time.